And the first to show us how the earth moves, Fleming Rasmussen, who's got a 25 kilo body weight advantage over Forbes Cowan. That giant globe, which is weighted down with about 100 gallons of water, has to be pushed out of the circle in your opponent's half, and it's the best of three rounds that takes you into the final. Off we go, and it's Rasmussen with the globe just over the advantage line. It's as simple as that, 1-0 to Denmark. Fleming Rasmussen, believe it or not, a former national 10-pin bowling champion of Denmark. I bet he threw the balls down the alley at an almighty speed. But now Forbes Cowan on the right, looking a little more serious. He must win this one, or it's straight into the playoff for third or fourth place. It's desperate for the Scot. Fleming walks this one out of the circle, and he's gone into the final. A suggestion there of a shoulder injury for Forbes. But this is how Denmark did it. And now Rasmussen will meet either Varalati or Leffler in the final. This is a very important bout for Fleming Rasmussen because if he can win, he closes the gap on Forbes to within one point, which means a nail-biting finish to this fourth heat. Varalati is guaranteed three points minimum. So the Finn looking a safe bet for the final. But Fleming, certainly a new find as far as strength contests are concerned. And Marco continuing where Riku Kiri left off last year. But look at this. It's Fleming with a rush who wins. It was Rasmussen who said he was going to kick his opponent out of the circle. He's done it once. Can he do it again? Ready. Both men are very agile and quick on their feet for such big guys. There's over 270 kilos of muscle on display here in a contest which is burning up the calories very quickly. They're training very much based on short bursts most of the time, so any prolonged effort hits them really hard. It's Fleming who wins this one for his first ever winning Strongest Man, and boy did he work hard for it.